हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू एक्सप्लेन द ऑटोमेशन फ्रेमवर्क स्ट्रक्चर इन द इंटरव्यू सो फर्स्ट लेट सी व्हाट इज फ्रेमवर्क इन सिंपल वर्ड वी कुड डिफाइन द फ्रेमवर्क इज अ सेट ऑफ द रूल एंड प्रैक्टिस व्हिच फॉलो in a systematic way to achieve the desired goal the framework help organizing and managing the code and the data separately making it reusable and the readable in our project we are using the hybrid framework which is the combinations of the pom pom means page object model and the data driven framework the data driven framework separate the test data from the test script this allow the same test script to be executed with a multiple set of data and the data is usually stored in external file like excel csv xml or database this framework is beneficial when you need to run the same set of the test with different input so guys this site contain the three question that is first what is framework framework is a set of rule and practice which follow the systematic way to achieve the desired goal so the next question is what is data driven framework so we have to say it like that data driven framework separate the test data from the test script which allow the same test script to be executed with the multiple set of the data and the data is usually stored in external file like excel csv xml or database here when we uh, when we explain our framework to the interviewer so we have to uh, start very basic from the basic like we in our selenium project we are using the java language in we are using java language so <clears throat> next we have to tell them that which type of framework we are using so we are using tdd that is test driven development approach by using the quick start template of me1 and all our dependencies are defined in the pom.xml so pom.xml is our design pattern <clears throat> so as per page object model we have maintained the class for every web page and the if page page as a separate classes file and that class hold the functionality and element of that web page separately classes are there for the individual test next is a reusable component reusable components means like properties file base file and utility file properties file means this file stored the common information which can be accessed throughout the framework such as which browser you want to run application url user credential so keeping this detail in the config file make it easy to maintain and use next is a base class so what is base class base class means base dot java file base class lead with all the common function used by the all pages this class is responsible for loading configuration from property file initializing the web driver and implicit way next is a what is utility file utility file means util dot java file that is utility class utility class store and handle the function which are repetitive in nature such as wait capturing screenshot accessing data from excel sending email etc which can be commonly used in the entire framework so next step is a test data test data means apache poi listener excel file so <clears throat> test data using apache poi we are accessing all our test data through the excel sheet so when we uh, tell them test data means this is a data driven framework next is a screenshot screenshot means we have used the listener in our framework to capture the screenshot on any failure this will be stored in the separate folder and will be added to the output report and next last is a continuous testing continuous testing means uh, jenkins <clears throat> to achieve the continuous testing we use the jenkins and for maintaining the so, uh, code we are using the git and the last part is test ng also we have to tell them what is test ng and why we are using the test ng in our framework so what is test ng test ng is a testing framework which is used to execute or manage our test cases so this is achieved to this is used to achieve the assertion grouping and the parallel execution
This is our folder structure. Folder structure contains SRC main Java, SRC main resources, SRC test Java, SRC test resources. So which file which contain in this folder we have to exclaim name and lastly we have to also exclaim name what is form.xml file, what is testing.testng.xml file. So before moving to the our question that how to explain the um, automation framework in the interview. This is my the top mate profile and this top mate profile in this you will get the selenium with java interview question, bdd interview question and the manual testing interview questions and this uh, notes contain all the interview questions and i have to i have to uh, try to provide the uh, answer to all these questions and these questions uh, i have gathered from the linkedin platform and other platform so we will get all <coughs> answers and question here so if you have to download or uh, if you have to buy these notes i will provide my uh, top mate uh, top mate site into the description so now i will tell you that how to give the explanation so in the last site we have discussed uh, the our folder structure so now we will see how to explain so we are using the maven project to all manage the all dependency which our project requires and using test ng as a framework along with the test ng framework we are using the data driven approach using test ng iterate data provider annotation so we can run all the tests multiple times with a different data Folder one that is SRG test Java. We have SRG test Java folder where we have one package name test cases and we are maintaining all our test cases file in the Java file like that is login test dot Java. Means the first folder is SRC test Java and in SRC test Java folder we have one package name test case and in the in that package we maintaining all our test cases that is if our page name is a login page then all related test cases to the login page will save the login test java we are using a direct annotation for the test the next folder is src test resources inside src test resources folder we have one package with name utility where we maintain our data dot properties file containing URL and username and the password data and our excel file are also present inside the utility package. The next folder is src main java and here in this folder we have one package named page object where we store all our locator for each page, page of the our application. In this folder we have one package with name base state inside that we have our base dot java file from where we invoke our browser. We are using the concept of the thread local cast for the thread safety so we can run the test in the parallel. Also, we are extending this base class in every test. Also, we are loading our properties file inside the base class. Also, we are using the added before suite for the launching the browser and the after suite for closing the browser. Next folder is src main java. In this folder, we have listener package. So inside that we have listener.java class that implement the ITest listener interface so we can control the flow of execution like taking screenshot for failed test cases and attaching, attaching them with to the extend report. Extend report we are using so we kept extend of property file in src test resources folder. The next is what is test in the XML file. So this file have maintained to run multiple tests. Also, this file is properly configured in our pom.xml file using Maver Surefire plugin. So we can easily run our testng.xml from Maven command. So here notice memorize how the testng file looks. Sometime interviewer can ask to write sample the textng.xml file on node. So this is the structure of the textng.xml file. So TextNG XML file is a configuration file that helps the organizing our test and it allows to tester to create and handle the multiple test classes, define the test suit and the test. This is the for TextNG XML file structure. So this is the suit. Suit is a XML file that contains one or more test 
which is defined the suit type next is a taste taste is defined by the taste tag and the last is a classes there means we uh, taste contain the classes and the suit contain the taste suit contain one or more taste tag taste file or taste contain the one or more classes so for the continuous integration our project is configured in the jenkin and we have provided our pom.xml path in the jenkin and using mvn clean test command to navigate the red classes for the maintaining all code we are using the github in this way we have to explain the um, our automation framework so first we have to tell them what is the framework that the framework is a set of rule and practice which follow the systematic way to achieve the desired goal why we use the framework we use the framework to organize and manage in the code and data separately making it reusable and the readable so basically we have to uh, say that we are using the java language in our selenium project we are using the data driven framework test driven development in our uh, project we are using the pom design pattern pom is page object model the usable component like properties file base class and utility utilities file we have created in the separate separate packages for the test data we are using the apache py library we are using the listener to take the screenshot and excel means when we use the data um and data related uh, data related we are using the excel file so we are using maven project to manage all dependency along with test ng framework and along with test ng framework we are using the data driven approach this is the folder structure we have seen and we have to explain very clearly and properly in the interview this is all about how to explain the <coughs> Uh, automation framework in the interview thank you so much guys for watching with this video if you like content then do like comment share and subscribe this channel and this is my top mate <coughs> top mate um, account if you have to buy this uh, question set question question answer set so you can buy from this and uh, i will share my top mate uh, login uh, top mate uh, id in the description so you can check uh, from this Once again, thank you. See you in the next video.